All right, everybody, here we go again. Another episode of SnowRunner. Thank you for coming back. Today, we are going to complete a few more of these little local tasks before we start digging hard into the uh, main mission modes for Dyson Diesel or Husky Forwarding. Right now, I should we I guess we should set some map points. We're gonna go after that stuck trailer. We are actually going the wrong way. That's why I didn't set any map points because it was supposed to be across the bottom. Easy. We're gonna go through town, get that stuck trailer, and then we're gonna probably take off after uh, motel woes. Which is funny because that's exactly what I'm going to pick up right now is a curtain side trailer and they want a curtain side trailer. is the curtain side trailer that they want. Oh, it's up there. Yeah, so that's an easy one. We run down, deliver the trailer, go back up, get that other one, and deliver that as well. So that's what we're going to be doing, and unless there's some heartache, I'll see you when we get there. Alright, so I decided to wait until morning to give ourselves the absolute best shot at finding the optimal way into that thing. I think that might be a little road there. <clears throat> Engage the all-wheel drive. Oh, I was wrong. That was just a dip. I think we need to hit it before this curve. I'm trying to get down in there. Hopefully this little feller can do it. Pretend it's a GMC Sierra, we're gonna make our own roads. Or find new roads, whatever their slogan is. They're weird. Oh, there goes our perfect no damage rating. Oh snaps and a half. So the best way to get at this thing is gonna be from the other side altogether. And that's where I love playing modded, but it can skew how you play uh, vanilla. Are you serious? It's a tree branch! Tear it off! Get out your camp axe. Oh, oh. And there's the heartache. Alright, let's get a recovery vehicle out here and try to salvage this. Okay, we're back. And we brought our hero of the day. I don't know if we've been giving this truck enough credit. This Fleet Star is a monster. Literally. I almost didn't have to engage the all-wheel drive at all to get it here. There was only one or two little sticky spots that I turned it on and it wasn't even necessary, it was just to get through a little bit faster. What's got that thing so stuck in there? Get out of there. Oh, well, let's turn on the all-wheel drive now. Oh yeah, now she's coming. Let's go. Let's go!
Oh, you already know what the problem is. Look how far we sank in this mud. Now we can't go forward or backward with this truck. And I was just getting ready to say how awesome it was. But this is obviously the wrong vehicle for the job. So let's go back to the garage. Retain that little buddy until we get a lifted suspension and a stronger engine. And then try to evaluate what we think can do it. Which I fully believe this thing can. I really do wholeheartedly believe the con can do it. The problem with the con is it's incredibly low fuel. Um... Oh, that's cool. Six hundred bucks? Yeah, why not? Look at that thing. Look at that thing. That changes the whole look of the vehicle. That's a mod. That's a mod. That would be cheating. This is a vanilla series. Uh, so it doesn't look like we get an option for uh, any kind of extra fuel supplies with this thing. So, <clears throat> I have never used the articulated platform before, so this is going to be new for all of us. B. Control evacuator. Okay. Oh, left shift. Lower. Extend. Perfect. Change truck. Uh, it is so hard to get this thing straight. This thing just sucks. I know. I put it in low gear. Sucks for fine movements. Okay, back to V. Nope. There we go. Control the evacuator. Left shift. Oh, let's bring it back up first. Flatter out. All right, here we are. Let's uh, deliver this bad boy. that thing all the way out the way. Unpack truck. Change truck. Stop engine. Change truck. Stop engine, change truck. Alright, let's get in there. Let's turn our lights on so we can see what we're doing. That thing was pulling through the handbrake. Alright, so we're going to take basically the same path in. 
Oh shit, I forgot we recovered the, 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 the scout. Okay. We're gonna leave this one here just in case. I was right about to recover that one too. We'll leave that there just in case. So we're not gonna follow the exact same prints that the International Scout did. We're gonna make our own path. I think these bigger tires make a massive difference. Can this thing not attach a trailer? Is that what's going on here? Ah. Okay. Play games with me then. Play with me, game. Play with me. Watch this. I'm gonna yank this thing out of here anyway. Alright, low gear, diff lock. Yeah, we're doing all the cheat codes. Let's go. Pull this thing the hell out of here. Let's go. And we'll just attach it to the international then. <clears throat> international being rear wheel drive only, and I don't think the. No, the diff lock is engageable, but still is just a rear wheel drive. It would never make it out of this slop. This con, though, is a monster. I really hate the trailers that are designed like that, too. For some reason... The tires on that trailer are so terrible. They, uh, they basically just dam up all the, the loose mud in front of them. It's, it's absolutely terrible to pull them. There's another type of trailer, I forget which one it's called exactly, but it doesn't have those covers over the front of the wheels, the, the mud covers. Almost certain that's what uh, absolutely kills the ability for the trucks to pull it through mud. What causes the damming in the first place. Get this thing on a little bit more solid ground so it gets better traction. There we go. There we go. Come on now. Come on now. Progress by inches. Oh, this thing is killing me. There we go. There we go. Pull it sideways across that mud dam. Come on. Okay, we're almost there. Come on now. Just get up the hill. 
can do it before my truck runs out of gas. There we go. There we go. There's some good progress. There we go. There we go. This trailer's heavy. What they fill this thing with? Lead? Try yank. Alright, let's try another one. Over here on the rocks. Yeah, we started to pull a little bit. Alright, that ain't going nowhere. Let's get the con back on the uh the ramp <laughs> we lifted the back wheels off the ground Ugh. you can't okay so this is a huge issue Let's get this thing back out on the road, or at least close to the roadway. And we're going to change our priorities. We'll go ahead and get the, uh, the Fleet Star out here. This trailer's not going to beat that beast. Okay, that's obviously not where I want the winch attached. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that's soft shit. That's a good spot. Alright, let's go ahead and take care of this other mission first. There we are. Finished up that mission. Alright. Accept our prize money. Get back on the road. Alright, we're back. We got the Fleet Star. I don't think this thing is going to have much of an issue. Given the all-wheel drive, which we're going to engage now, and then we're gonna have the uh, diff locker on too. Up, engage the little gear, engage the diff lock. Come on. Pull some of that fresh dirt. Come on. Come on. There we go. Fleet Star for the win. So the rest is going to be road driving. We'll see you when we deliver it. Now, right here we are. This last little stretch is so soft. It's giving us a bit of an issue. Like I said, it's this trailer. Something about the way those front wheels are designed, it just does not pull very easily through mud. I think it's the, uh, double axles on front and rear. There we 
we are. Pay me. Give me that money. All right, almost there. That was. A lot less painful than I thought it was going to be. It was actually quite painless. It's very easy. Oh, this is the one he wants delivered in the back of the house. That's right. Oh, well, you ain't got a fence no more, buddy. Riding the needle. It's a big ass truck. Well, turns out that ain't gonna happen. Come on now. Might have screwed the pooch a little bit on that one. I think we can get out of this. Just take bouncing off a few trees. Maybe bouncing off the guy's porch. We can do it though. We can definitely get that done. Come on. Swing that thing. and get that trailer lined up first. There we go. Okay, that didn't even look like I was going to hit it, but sure. I'm just going to get this trailer back to somewhere we can park it nice and safe, and then that'll be all for this episode. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to like, comment, share, sub, and make sure to uh, hit the bell icon. Please leave me comments. I love reading the comments. I respond to every one of them. And uh, let me know how it's going, how, how I'm doing, please. I love 
getting the criticism and being able to improve. The more you guys help me improve, the more I can... The more better videos I can make for you.